Hello world, Lewis Yates here. And here is the solution to Turing's halting problem, the Russell paradox of Bertrand Russell, Bertrand Russell's paradox, and the Grelling Nelson paradox all together, all, all in one. The halting problem is the, comp is the computational version. They're all the same thing. We all know that. It's the same problem. The halting problem is the computational version of it. The Russell paradox is the mathematical philosophical version of it. And the Grelling Nelson paradox is the linguist is the linguistic version of it. But here's the solution. Here's how you solve it. The whole thing is a infinite Schrodinger's cat state. When the program is looping forever into infinity, it starts to reach incredible speeds. And as we all know, when you accelerate to a speed that's fast enough, when you start moving at a fast enough speed, you start to look like you're standing still. You've stopped or halted. As a result of that, you exist simultaneously in both states at the same time. You simultaneously describe and do not describe yourself at the same time. It's Schrodinger's cat. The solution is Schrodinger's cat. And Schrodinger's cat, the name of Schrodinger's cat, is Maxwell's demon, the gatekeeper or the decider. And that gatekeeper or decider or Maxwell's demon, the Schrodinger's cat, exists in a superpositioned, superlocated, translent a superpositioned, superlocated, transcendentally transcendental state. Because of how fast it's moving, how fast it's going. It is both moving and looping infinitely on itself moving so fast that it looks like it's standing still, that it's stopped, it's halted. And at the same time, it both simultaneously describes and doesn't describe itself. That's the solution to the same solution to all three of those problems. The Turing halting problem, the Bertrand Russell paradox and the Grelling Nelson paradox. I'm Lewis Yates. Thanks for watching.